The Smart Woodshop is a system, a system that allows me to work more efficiently. As a home builder and a remodeler, I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Woodshop. I need to go to the job and stay on the job so that I can work efficiently. I need to have all of the tools I need to complete the tasks that are at hand each day. I need to have a lot of the materials, uh, the, the little specific things, the nuts and bolts and screws and glues and sandpapers. I need to have all of that stuff so that I am not having to continually leave the job to go to the lumber store and pick up that one more thing. An hour lost is an hour I can't give value to my clients. It's an hour that I lose in profitability. This trailer is the most advanced in a long line of trailers and trucks that I have built and refined over the years. It's very specialized in that it holds my tools, but it's also very generic, and I've developed it intentionally that way. I didn't want everything so custom fit that as my tools evolve, as I get a, as I get a bigger tool or a smaller tool or more tools, they would have to rebuild things. I wanted things to be adjustable. The cabinets have been refined and refined and refined through working years and years in the field and finding out what works good, what works better, and what works best. There is no perfection. It's always getting better and better and better. And if I can save five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds on each different task, when I notice that, then if I'm reaching for a particular material or tool more often than others, and if it's back in the back and I can put it here, then that'll save me a little bit of time. And so these cabinets, they're all exactly the same width. It doesn't matter how tall they are from this midsize to the short to the very tall. They're all the same width. And all of the drawers will fit in any of the heights. The heights are a multiple of these drawers. So two drawers take up the exact same space as one drawer. And if I wanted a deeper drawer, I could make it equal a third. So all of the layouts for supporting these drawers are laid out in a system to be modular. Again, I can take one of these drawers out, take these two drawers out, put it, the double in here, and take these two and put them over there. On previous drawers, I've had handles that I've purchased from the store. I've had wood handles that I've made. But in these, I've actually eliminated that completely and I actually take away material to create the handle. So there's actually less is more. Also, I don't have anything protruding, which takes up precious aisleway space. I've used expensive heavy duty roller bearing drawer glides and had to figure out ways to keep the drawers closed. So I completely eliminated the hardware. The bottom of the drawer is actually the rail or the guide to ho uh, hold the drawer up and slide it in and out. There are no locks or latches. In fact, it's designed to just a slight lift and then the drawer comes out. But when I push it in, it just automatically drops in. I don't need to remember, did I lock that? If I forgot to lock the whole bank of drawers and then I go down the road and I find that They've all come out and tools have been jostled around or fallen on the floor. I don't have to worry about that. Push the drawer in and it's automatically locked. And again, no hardware. I've actually taken stuff away, lightened up the trailer, spent less money, and it's more functional. These cubbies hold any number of power tools and nail guns. And as time goes on and I want to move tools around, I'm not stuck with the size of these spaces. I have these quarter inch dividers that by simply removing this lip with a few screws, I can slide these out and adjust them and make these bends wider or narrower because I've cut these dados in every two inches. So I can have any multiple of these to make larger bends or narrower bends to hold the tool in place. And that lip that keeps these in also works as a passive restraint for the tools. So as I'm going down the road, these tools won't fall out. When, if they slide, they'll bump into that lip. But when I want to take them out and use them, it's just a matter of lifting them over and pulling the tool out. This is really critical 
because I've learned that in efficiency, what I don't want is having any kind of doors or locks or bungees or any kind of anything that I have to first unlatch, move, untie before I take the tool out to use it. My compressor stays in the trailer. It never comes out. It is wired so that when the trailer is plugged in, the compressor has power to it and I just flip it on. The compressor itself stays in better condition. It's not out in the rain. It's not being drug around and banged around. It's much faster for me to take this 3 8 inch 100 foot hose and just pull it off its reel and drop it through the hole, reach out outside the trailer and pull that out right to where I need it than it is to roll the compressor around and find a spot to plug it in. I use a lot of cordless tools that have batteries that need to be charged. But instead of pulling out a charger and finding a place to plug it in, they're always here ready to go. When a battery is dead, it goes on here, it gets charged, and then dropped into the charge shelf so that I have my batteries ready to go all the time. And as far as where all this power comes from, just like my air hose, I have a power cord on a hose reel, two hose reels mounted right on this end that it also drops through the floor and I just pull it out and plug it in and it's a 10-3, it's a 100 footer so I don't get any power drop and I always find a good circuit usually in the garage close to the uh, breaker box as possible and to save even more time I take the air hose and the power cord and I drop them through the same hole in the floor and I pull them out together onto the job and once I plug it in I have a lot of good light with these LED tubes. Larger cubbies that I can bring my bigger tools in. My miter saw sits right here. I have my planer in behind it. I have my Craig jig back in there. I have my router fence. So any kind of big tools and blankets and things can fit in nicely and, and easily access at waist level. The Smart Total Station and the Smart Compact Bench stack on top of each other and go right here. Long deep drawers in the back here for demo tools clamp specialty tools level store here from short to long tracks cabinet jack extendable plank everything has a place that it goes and fits the main thing is that they're easily accessible and they're not tied down or locked down when i'm on the job i can grab the tool and get the job done this is just a quick look at the smart wood shop i've done a deep dive tour and i'll link it right here if you want to take a look at that i get asked a lot if i have plans for a longer trailer or shorter trailer or a narrower trailer well my answer is yes the smart woodshop plans are that these are scalable if you have a longer trailer you just add another bank of cabinets on or two more banks of cabinets on just keeping the exact width because you want this modular aspect if you've got a large cube van same thing, the plan will work for those. It's scalable. If you just want to build out your garage, you can use these exact same cabinets to build out your garage and still be able to park your car inside. If you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, if you learned anything, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, it's really important when you subscribe to ring that bell because that is the only way that YouTube will let you know when I drop a new video. And if you get a chance, Share the channel with somebody else and help me grow my subscriber base. Stay safe and thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. Have a great day.